Hey up everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about quite a hot topic in the UK at the moment. And it's with reference to as native red squirrel. And obviously as invasive grey squirrel. They arrived here from sometime in the 19th century. Originally had some sort of ornamental pet. Obviously, we're well aware these days, they're a prolific breeder. They've adapted to our climate and countryside really well. So what's in the news at the moment? It's talking about that complex relationship between these two species. And how best to actually control the grey and help the red that's been persecuted for many years and its numbers are in terrible decline. Now what they're proposing is a contraceptive solution for grey squirrel. Now that'll be taken in orally, so they're planning on creating feed stations in all different areas of UK Baiting it with food the grey squirrels like. They try to cut an alternative, I believe, that red squirrels don't favour. And that's one way of mitigating risk a red squirrel actually ingesting the same contraceptive that'll be rolled out for grey to ingest. And hopefully, the plan is use feed stations, bait it with Nutella. Or hazelnut chocolate spread. The greys will eat it. It'll make them infertile for a period of probably two, three, maybe four years. Obviously, that'll reduce populations. Well, that's the hope. Now, they're going to use special bay toppers, as I think they're called. They have catch plates on them, very dissimilar to traps, and in this image this is what I'm talking about, so apparently according to people that know, only red squirrels could actually get into those bait hoppers and ingest the food, but there has been cases where stoats have been witnessed actually taking this food. It has a crossover into different species. Mice have also been witnessed eating from these bait hoppers. And obviously there's a variety of birds, nuthatcher, robins, any woodland bird really. So my question is, what's wrong with control methods in place like trapping and shooting? I do have a worry that that crossover into different species could make them species infertile and it has a negative effect on their populations. But also on top of that, there's secondary contamination to if a buzzard or a sparrow, for example, eats a squirrel. Is that contraceptive still alive? in grey squirrel's body. I'd question that, and I think possibly it is, because from the research that I've done, the actual bait that they feed into the grey squirrels with the contraceptive in, makes the grey squirrel's fur a luminous, so under UV light, you'd be able to see that it's actually ingested that contraceptive. Now, I'm not totally against it, because... I'd love to see more native red squirrels, just like probably the majority of people in the UK. But that cross-contamination and the involvement of man using scientific methods has a really bad track record. Think of myxomatosis, viral hemorrhage disease. These were all supposed to be positive Control methods. And all it really does is create prolonged suffering 
for the target species. Now, what's the cost distribution analysis? The amount of contraceptive and the actual physical distribution of this throughout the UK, it must run into hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pounds, if not millions. How effective do you think it can be? We're living in a time where inflation rates are high. Your normal working class people are struggling to pay the bills and make ends meet. Yet government are prepared to spend millions and millions on this program. Now the hope is, with smaller populations, there'll be less disease, less interaction between grey and red, which obviously prevents squirrel pox from populating it red squirrel population. The science actually proves or shows that in the short term, the grey squirrel will have a longer lifespan. The population will actually increase. If you're not going through childbirth, then survival rates are higher, actually higher. If population decreases, there'll be less competition, which means the food sources are more available. And this will all increase the population initially until targeted control through trapping or shooting. Combined with contraceptive, will start having a positive effect on grey squirrel population. My thoughts are just a little bit of food for thought, really. I'm all for anything that helps protect his red squirrel. A common message from me and plenty of other people is shoot a grey, save a red. I truly hope the contraceptive will work, but I think it's impractical. It'll work in certain areas. We'll have to be very mindful of how it affects other species, but we won't know that for years to come. As ever, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.